Hello everybody, my name is Heiko Vogel, I'm from the University of Bayreuth and I am a member of the development team of JSX Graph. JSX Graph is a library written in JavaScript which allows you to create geometric elements and to visualize interaction between these geometric elements. And uh, for now it is only available as a, a JavaScript library. That means you have to know or know how to program JavaScript in order to be able to construct with JSX Graph. This is a certain manco and so we decided to create a graphical user interface which runs in all major browsers. As you can see now, this is this interface uh, only in its beta status. The final version will look apparently a little bit other but uh, for, for the demonstration I want to show you it is sufficient. So you see there's only a basic uh, button, uh, button board at the top and at the bottom you see uh, certain functions to scale the board or to move the origin. And uh, at the moment I'm in the so-called drag mode which I will explain lately. Okay, let's start in the construction mode. In the construction mode you just can create geometric elements by intuitively mouse gestures or touch events which will play a role when you use the iPad or the iPhone. But now here <coughs> only the mouse movement will get recognized. And so we will start with a basic construction, a circle. A circle is drawn like that and just draw around and the blue color uh, uh, reflects that there is a circle recognized. As soon as I release a button, the cir uh, circle gets drawn. Now I'll do this another time and a third time. So I have my three circles and now I want to create a triangle between the midpoints of these circles. So I just draw a line. Okay, sometimes I miss it. I just do a little correction that will get recognized correctly either and it is yellow now marked, that means triangle is recognized, I release and you see even this point there below gets correctly fitted. Okay, now I have my tri uh, triangle, I'm switching back to drag mode and to check if everything is connected right. Okay, it looks good. So we can go further the, with the construction and now I want to mark these intersection points of the circles with the triangle borders. which gets computed under the hood, so you don't really have to care what's happening. The Chase XGraph library does, it, does this automatically for you as soon as there are overlapping objects. Okay, now for a construction my angular bi bisectors, I have to find the midpoint of the straights, which is yeah, defined by two of such point, uh, by two points or by such point pairs. So uh, to create a midpoint, I'm using a basic gesture. I will demonstrate it here below. I'm just drawing a line. In the middle, I make a loop and continue. And as soon as I release, I'll get my midpoint. So this gesture is done on these three corners. My first midpoint, a second, and the third. Okay, now let's draw the angular, angular bisectors. So I'm just drawing over the start point and the point it should contain. I release and it gets drawn. I'll make it on the right upper corner the same. And it's really drawn like it should be. Now I mark the, mid, uh, the intersection of these two lines. And from school mathematics, you should know that the third angular bisector should go through this intersection automatically. Okay, I did some little draw mistake. To correct that mistake, you have to draw the X connected with at the top or at the bottom. So you make uh, you are, you are undoing the last construction step. Okay. Now again. And you see really this third angular bisector really intersects 
in the place where the two arvis meet. So, in order to create the in circle, I have to yeah, I have to find the perpendicular point um, from the midpoint Q on one of these triangle borders. For simplicity, I do a little bit moving around, and I want the perpendicular point on this triangle side. So I'm starting here in Q, draw a line down, and now I have to m make sure there's an L. You see it, it, it really disappears, it gets pink. Pink means uh, perpendicular. So it's a release. Okay, there was a mistake. I'm trying again. Uh, okay, here are too much objects stacked up. I'm trying on a different corner or a different border. I will adhere. Okay, now you see the perpendicular gets created. Now I'm just marking this intersection point and now have the info for my in circle. This will get the midpoint and this will get the radius. So I'm drawing it just a circle starting here, here and then I'm doing my circle gesture and it really gets created in the, the triangle. And let's prove it of everything went right. Yeah, it looks okay. The in circle really scales down as soon as I move the triangle corners. Okay, and now for completion, I'm just adding the out circle, which goes through these three triangle points. And as soon as I release, it really fits like it should be. Okay, then bye.